Hey all, welcome to home school. Hope everybody are doing good. And I know that you guys are very busy because of your examinations, right? And this video is specially for those students who are going to write Karnataka SSLC board examination on Monday. So Monday, that, that is your science paper, which is the last paper for you, right? And I'm here to tell you some tips and tricks that you have to follow during these two days and some tricks that you have to keep in mind during examination. Okay, so first and foremost, I would like to tell you that I have done four videos on all the topics where I have covered most important and expected concepts that can come for 2022 board examination. Okay, so I recommend everyone to watch those video. Suppose if you feel science very difficult and don't know where to start, what to study these two days, the best option with you is to go through those four videos. Links are provided in the description. Even if you can concentrate those topics, definitely I can assure you that you can score a very decent mark in the examination. Okay, video links are provided in the description. Don't forget to check it out. Fine. Suppose if you are someone who is aiming to get 100 on 100 or at least above 95 or 90 percentage, you have to study and use these two days in a particular pattern. Okay, plan and study. See, uh, you can allot uh, four to five hours for chemistry to revise all the chapters in a proper way and four to five hours for physics and four to five hours for biology chapters. Okay. And the remaining time you can revise uh, like one glance. Okay. And practice all the diagrams. And I'm going to talk about the presentation skills that you have to follow during your examination. Okay, so presentation, paper presentation is very important because this is a very, very uh, key issue that you have to follow to score very good mark. Okay, see every chemical equation coming to chemistry aspect, every chemical equation must be balanced. So if you forget balancing a chemical equation, you know, marks will get cut. So properly balanced equations you have to write. And the chemistry answers are not very long, isn't it? You no need to write a kind of essay type of answers. Just short and crisp answers are enough in chemistry. Just many a times for many of the questions, just writing a balanced chemical equation will be an answer. Okay, so practice all chemical equations that to balanced form compulsorily. Okay, so this one point you have to keep it in your mind in case if you are uh, practicing chemistry chapters first. Okay, fine. And coming to the biology part. Say here the biology part you need to uh, write some elaborate answers. Okay, in many sentences you need to explain a particular concept. Suppose if they ask you what is translocation, how is, how is it done or explain the process of uh, transportation of water and minerals or something like that, you know, you should mention some like four to five sentences or at least, uh, you know, five to six points you have to mention. And always biology answers have to be point wise. Okay, so don't write paragraph wise because it's not a drama or story that you are talking about, right? It, it's all about the facts and concepts where neatly write every biology answers point wise. Okay, and underline the keywords. This is the most important thing. Okay, suppose uh, if they ask you uh, transportation of food in plants, you know, the very first thing that you mentioned is about the tissue, right? Phloem tissue. So phloem tissue is a key word there, underlying phloem tissue. So in an answer, the major words, the key words have to be underlined properly. Okay, so this is one important uh, tip that you have to follow for writing biology answers. And coming to physics. So even the physics answers are very much uh, short and crisp. So no need to worry. 
but here the problems are very very important so definitely uh, for around uh, six to seven marks worth the problem can be asked okay from light chapter one problem from electricity chapter one or two problems will definitely come for the examination where while solving a problem you have to follow the necessary steps here so first thing that you need to do is write given information so what is given in a question and what is asked so that you must able to identify write all the given information okay and later don't forget to mention the formula okay so whatever the formula that is required to calculate you know that formula you have to write and later neatly substitute the values in a formula okay and finally give answer write answer along with the units okay so if you forget the units marks will get cut so you should definitely concentrate on units okay so whatever may, the, may be the unit uh, say uh, for example uh, in the light uh, chapter they'll ask you the image distance so image distance the unit is centimeter right so when they ask you resistivity the unit is ohm meter resistance when they ask you to calculate the unit ohms you know units are very very important and definitely these are the four steps you have to follow while solving a problem okay and uh, when you do a rough work for a, for a problem say for example you are doing some multiplication or division don't mess up you know on a paper on to a side you can just uh, put a line something like this and here you can do a rough work or you can do a rough work in the paper that is provided for you okay so this is very very important the problem that you solve have to be very very neat and that should be in a steps these four steps okay so this is all about uh, the physics uh, aspects that you need to be careful and don't forget to uh, revise the textbook okay so i told you many a times if you want to score a very good mark above 95 or 100 on 100 reading every sentence of a textbook is very important you would have already read the textbook if you are aiming for very good mark so i recommend you to revise all the keywords that are there in a textbook okay and most importantly coming to physics part don't forget to solve all index and exercise questions so they are very very important guys so all index and exercise problems you have to solve and all chapters index and exercise questions you have to focus because um, when we observe all other subjects you know they have asked the questions straight away from the textbook only okay straight away from in text and uh, exercise questions itself so even for science they may concentrate more on in text and exercise questions only these this time okay so don't neglect in text and exercise questions and very very important diagrams and we all know how important diagrams are in case of science so you will get almost around 12 to 14 marks worth uh, questions uh, can be asked from diagrams itself okay so practice all diagrams uh, just as according to a textbook okay and practicing with correct labeling is also very very important okay so uh, from chemistry chapters you have around five to uh, four to five yes almost around five diagrams and from biology section you have so many diagrams especially from life processes okay nephron diagram is very very important and practice as according to textbook okay and human brain human heart okay neuron diagram and the human digestive system diagram uh, then coming to the physics part it is a biogas uh, plant diagram is very very important okay and not only that uh, you have in the reproduction chapter uh, the uh, longitudinal section of flower pollen tube uh, germination okay and not only that male and female reproductive system so all of them are very 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 important so don't neglect practice diagram and moreover don't just look at the answer and don't just buy hat something and remember okay so you just write and practice so that you can remember them in a better way okay so if you can use these days in a proper way these two days in a proper way definitely you can get a very very good mark okay 
so uh, this is what i wanted to talk about the examination and most importantly during examination see first 15 minutes will be given for reading a question paper isn't it so read the question paper thoroughly slowly start writing uh, the answers in a proper way and don't forget to put the question numbers okay so many of them will make a mistake in putting a question number they they give a wrong question number for some other answer okay so be careful with the question number and while writing mcqs answers for mcq you know you write uh, you you can say that this is a option or b option and write complete answer okay okay so don't just write it as 1a or 2c uh, something like that a and complete answer you have to write even for mcqs okay and uh, uh, most importantly neatness okay so maintain neatness in the answer sheet that is very very important don't simply just scratch and don't mess up the things and uh, do whatever you want okay so just you have to uh, you have to be very very careful in writing answers correct answers okay and don't leave any question write answers for every question okay so what i recommend you is at least if you don't know answer for a particular question you can you can at least write the relevant answer uh, relating to that okay so i i suggest you not to leave any question during examination okay and finish your examination uh, before 10 minutes or 15 minutes okay so at least minimum before 10 minutes uh, of the final time you have to finish your examination because you will have to check your answer sheet properly because many a times we do mistakes unknowingly especially uh, when you calculate a problem you know uh, for writing 2 you would have written 3 okay so such mistakes are very very common or you would have forgot a major keyword while writing an answer you know such mistakes can be rectified if you can recheck your answer sheet once again okay so rechecking answer sheet is very very important so finish your examination at least before 10 minutes and take the last 10 to 15 minutes for rechecking the answer sheet okay so many a times um, many mistakes can get rectified in those last 15 to 10 minutes so use that time properly okay so uh, this is all i wanted to tell about uh, the monday's science examination all the very best guys so i know you all will do your examination wonderfully because you all have studied properly right and don't forget to post your um, result in the comment section once you get results okay and uh, in case of any doubts you can just post it in the comments we will try to answer if it is possible and uh, one more important thing is after the examination i mean on monday okay 4 o'clock i'll be live okay to solve the question paper okay so don't forget to join me on live on monday at 4 o'clock so monday by 1:30 you will finish your examination right you so you come home you refresh you enjoy your uh, holidays uh, you know uh, you just enjoy uh, the time um, that you have got after the examination and exactly by 4 o'clock do join with me in live okay so i'll be solving your board examination uh, paper so that you can analyze yourself how many marks you are going to get okay so guys thank you so much since this is your last examination don't take it lightly okay uh, don't be lazy enough to practice the answers so very very important do practice every concept in a proper way and get 100% result okay thank you so much all the best